Hey, what's going on guys? It's Drake with Extreme Sports and today we're going to be discussing fins. Uh, there's tons of different fins that are on the market and we're going to try and discuss which style of fin is for what style of diving. Uh, rather if it's technical, recreational, uh, maybe if you have some, maybe some hip injuries, things like that, that'll kind of play a role on which fins are the perfect choice for you. So starting off, we have the Seawing Nova fin. Uh, the Seawing Nova fin is an awesome, awesome fin. It's very, very powerful, and they have another option that's a little bit more stiff. It's the uh, Seawing Nova Gorilla, um, but the uh, Nova fin here is made out of monoprene. It is uh, extremely powerful. It has a hinge design. So this is called their pivot control technology, and you can see here these little fins. Um, it's basically these little cutouts that allow the fin, and it's kind of hard to do here on the, um, with my hands, but you kind of have you can see how it gets bent in right through there. And what that's doing is it's um, maximizing at a 45 degree angle, creating a perfect uh, form of attack, uh, or angle of attack. And the Novas come in at one pound, 14 ounces, and they are slightly positively buoyant. Um, nothing that's gonna affect you too much, um, but that's what that monoprene material does. Um, the next fin is the Scoob Pro Go Sport fin. The reason I like this fin is you can see it has a slight angle already pre-bent in here. It is a 25 degree angle and that is perfect for frog kicking. Um, this is a good choice for all styles of kicking, whatever you're doing, um, but it's a nice, lightweight, extremely short fin. Great for travel. Um, you can throw it in a carry-on, go down to the lake, whatever you want to do, and uh, stays nice and lightweight. It is one pound, eight ounces, and uh, it is slightly positively buoyant as well. One thing that's uh, pretty calm or that's on both of these fins is the bungee design that's on their uh, rear strap and these are replaceable bungees the scoob pro go sport has a little bit thinner of a bungee um, so a little bit easier to maneuver than the scoob pro nova um, but a nice great design easy to get on and off uh, and that's that's another reason i like to use uh, choose between these two the scoob pro jet fin is another choice um, another very popular fin it is extremely malleable. All three of these last three fins are made out of monoprene, but the uh, jet fin is actually a little bit thinner. And the colored fins that they have option for, um, like the blue and the yellow, are slightly positively buoyant, but the black version is actually negatively buoyant. So the only fin that we've gone over so far that's negatively buoyant is the black version of the Scoopro jet fin. And uh, they're great for people that have some hip issues, maybe some ankle or knee in injuries. Um, it is extremely malleable. It allows you not to overwork yourself and uh, put a lot of stress on your joints. And uh, overall, of a nice and um, medium power fin, but keeps a, a, a nice vent design that's right through here. So extremely powerful on the down kick. So they come in at 2.24 pounds, by the way. So they're a little bit heavier than these other two. Um, although even though this is a you know heavier fin, it is positively buoyant on this colored version. The next fin that we have available is the Jet Sport. This is an extremely heavy fin, uh, just holding it here. You can tell a big difference between these last three. Um, they come in at 2.62 pounds each, um, so quite a bit heavier. You're getting over five, six, you know, almost six pounds for, uh, for both of the fins here. And um, they have been made for a very, very long time and uh, extremely, extremely durable. They're made out of rubber. So they have a specific vented design here, as you can see. On the up kick, you would have water that enters in, and then when you flip over, if you were to go on a down kick, you can see how the water would rush off. So it makes it to where you're not overworking yourself on your up kick, and uh, it makes it extremely powerful there on the down kick. They're very, very stiff fin. Uh, like I said, they're made out of rubber, weigh 2.62 pounds each, a little bit heavier, um, but they're more of a technical style fin. When it comes to these other fins, these are um, great recreational, all styles of different kicking. Um, fin here and then the uh, the ghost sport I like for uh, specifically for frog kicking um, But when it comes to the twin jet, they have a little bit different of a uh, strap style here So for some people they like to have the bungee system just like myself makes it easy to get on and off for myself But if you can't get your fin off um, Maybe it's a little harder to bend over things like that the twin jets a nice design because it has a quick buckle system. Immediately get out of the water, maybe you're getting on a boat, you can unbuckle it, hand it up. The, uh, the jet, jet fin over here has a little bit different system. It is extremely, extremely rugged. It is a stainless steel uh, bungee system that's on here, 
a little bit stiffer, hard to get in out of. But the, uh, the jet fin is a perfect choice for someone that's doing maybe some dry suit diving, some thick suit diving, cold water, or maybe someone that just has a problem with their feet floating up. Having that negatively buoyant fin will help keep your feet down. Um, so as you can see, tons of different styles. We have more styles that are available in the store. These are our most popular versions. If you guys have any questions, you can give us a call 417-659-9009. Or if you check out our website um, at extremesportscuba.com, there's going to be a breakdown of all the different styles of fins and that way a little bit of a read through. So have a good one.